What's going on guys? Before today's video gets going, I am excited to announce we have our Freedom Factory hats on sale right now at cleavesmanfrontland.com as well as our new t-shirt, Certified Redneck Engineer, which basically you, me, and everybody else who watches this channel is probably certified as. Grab a t-shirt and maybe the new hat after this video, but for now, enjoy some live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. What's going on guys? Today we've got a really interesting video for you. We've got a guy here by the name of Gene Tharp. He's actually one of the he is the original owner and builder of our Speedway, the now known as the Freedom Factory. He contacted us via email, told us that uh, he'd be willing to come out here and kind of share with us the story of the Speedway. And they actually built the drag strip as well and they just got here and today we're gonna go on a little tour, walk around with them and learn some history about this place. He, when he first got here, he was telling us about it and it was so interesting just to get started that I had to grab a camera and he said he's cool with it. So we're uh, we're going on a little tour. So good to meet you, Gene. Good to be sure. Excited to have you here. Thank so you. this is, uh, what do you think? Are you excited to see it back up and going? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, there's been uh, uh, quite a few improvements since uh, 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 Stanley and I had the track. Yep. Uh, uh, so yeah, you were saying you were partners with Stanley. Stanley Sports. Okay. Uh, he's uh, an attorney in town. And you originally raced back in the 60s with him, yeah, is that? Yeah, back in the, in the early 60s. Uh, he and I used to race together at the old Sarabana Speedway, uh, which was located in Bradenton. Uh, A little closer to town. Yeah, uh, right in, right off 14th Street at 67th Avenue. It's now a trailer park. Uh, wow. <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the track uh, property was sold and, and, and closed, and we decided that that uh, we'd build a speedway. That's and, awesome. Uh, Stanley and I uh, uh, started looking for some property. We originally picked out a piece of property over at an industrial complex, but the county and the zoning. Uh, so that's going to be a little too loud. Down there. They wouldn't let us uh, build there, but they said, you know, we want your facility. So yeah. uh, they uh, helped us locate this piece of property. The whole property, the drag strip, the speedway, there was 90 acres involved in yep. the thing. I think there's a 10 acre tag on yep. the backside over there that that we really didn't want, but they wouldn't sell this property without us buying that property. Okay, so makes we sense. Ended up with that. Cool. Uh, he brought us the original plans, which is helpful because we gotta look into some of that. But also, I'm gonna put some pictures in here, guys, of this. That's pretty crazy. So they used loaders on the slopes. Yeah, that's they used loaders to uh, to uh, transport the uh, mix to the spreader. Yeah. Because the truck bodies, when they raised up, would, would tip over if they were on that no way. slope. August 4th, 1978. Well, let's go uh, walk in there, and you want to kind of just tell us about the place okay. and things you can sure. things you can think of that would be of interesting value. Would, were all these ticket booths original? The, the, the uh, booths were original. The roofing has been changed. They yep. Were, they were just the flat top deals originally. Uh, these were all flat top structures okay he added this piece out here but Interesting. that's the rest of it uh, okay is the original this is an addition yeah that was put on by i think Steinus did all of that okay and uh so this was there. this is the original office our office was there okay and uh i think that's been remodeled Yep. This was the uh, beer concession right here. Oh, it was? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was the beer concession. And, uh, of course, the concession stand uh, there. That's still mm -hmm. the thing, the restrooms. Now, were the bleachers originally well, built? Well, <clears throat> the bleachers were just from the first section there, about midway. Okay, yeah. To about midway there. How many did they originally been, hold? You know, the additional bleachers have been added since it's, uh, we had it. So uh, I'm curious to know how many layers of asphalt have been added since you... <laughs> it's got to be quite a few, right? Yeah, when, when we uh, uh, originally uh, uh, opened the track, uh, we had just a, a 
thin layer of asphalt here. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't completed with a full thickness of, okay. of pavement, which has, has been added since then. Mm -hmm. Just what you could afford at the time was yeah. to throw yeah. a thin layer oh, yeah. on it yeah. and yeah. open we were, it up. We were, you know, building it uh, out of, a lot of it out of our pocket and, yeah. you know. You want to check out the track? Yeah. That, this building, of course, is, we had that. That's got all of the power for the lighting. Yeah. And all that. I'll show you. When's the last time you walked the track out here? Uh, it's been several years now. Yep. Uh, in fact, uh, I used to race here after we sold it. Mm -hmm. uh, several. Oh, for about a year, I guess, maybe. And, and then, then I uh, took a position with an engineering firm down in Miami and okay. left town. And, and I got gotcha. you. Hadn't been back uh, hardly since. When we had it, it was all uh, just wood. Uh, yeah, wood. some of the wood except, over there is... Except for those, that was a little VIP section. Really? And uh, <clears throat> the uh, scoring... Uh, uh, an announcing booth up there was part of the original construction. Yeah, we wow. built that and all of the lighting. Uh, see. see a pole came down over there? Yeah, apparently uh, somebody must have hit that one. I, didn't, I don't know. I think I it was a uh, hurricane. Hurricane? Uh, yeah, that, hurricane broke that, it in half. The original track was just the, the small in inner figure eight. Oh, uh, okay. Two <coughs> extensions over there and over there to make a full big track figure, eight. figure eight yeah I added uh, <clears throat> by uh, I don't know who did that uh, it was a king or somebody subsequent to okay. us anyway what do you think a little more beat up well it's uh you know what is it 40 years it's up, 42. yeah 40 some years uh it, it's 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 like it's held up pretty decent it's, for 40 it's not bad years it uh you know yeah last week we had an asphalt company come out yeah. kind of check everything out they think structurally it's in good shape it just needs some patches and here and there and we'll get it yeah, fixed looks, up looks looks good There's plenty of structure under the pavement here yeah, what is underneath this uh the base structure is gypsum okay interesting yeah. <laughs> that's neat yeah and you guys laid a whole bed of it and oh yeah we we put uh i think there's six six or eight inches of 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 that for a base and then there was two inches of of asphaltic concrete on the top wow you kind of need to do is you understand what they do those sample the soil sample the core course. sample yeah, yeah. Where then you can see all the layers of it yeah and go somewhere and do that when we have it patched yeah that's a good Just idea so we have a sample of the history of what's been there yeah i'm sure it's pretty thick got a few layers do you know what degree you guys made the banks to the banks are uh, 12 degrees on the turns and six degrees down the straightaway wow we were all we were close did we say 12 in the original yeah, video 12. yeah i used a level and just guessed kind of got a guess yeah 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 well, the design was 12 degrees on the turns and six degrees uh, pretty yeah, good. Right away. That's pretty good. Yeah, you got the big paving here. Yep. Got a big patch through here. Patch in here. That's, well, uh, actually, all the way around the lower groove. Yeah. But this is where the most most wear is on the track. Yeah. These cars put so much pressure on the asphalt through this corner. Is yep, what uh, right. mm -hmm. the pavement guys were telling me. They didn't really think about it, but with the bank turn, yeah. it adds a lot of pressure. No, we didn't have a scoreboard. Uh, that was added by, uh, I think Stymus probably added that floor, uh, scoreboard. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we had those signs there pretty much around, which we sold, you know, advertising uh, for. Any idea what you used to sell a sponsorship board for? The cost of the board and painting and plus a uh, uh, couple hundred dollars a season or wow. something like that. That's, you know. Yeah, that's interesting. I was looking at one of your uh, videos about uh, the lighting and thing. Yep. Where you're pointing out several of the things out. You know, the lighting f all fused at that fuse box up there. Okay. You see it? And that's where the fuses are. 
And I think if you'll get a bucket truck, get up to those fuses, replace the fuses, you'll probably get just about every one of the lights really? back to functioning again. So some of them might not even be the bulb, it might just be a fuse? Well, most of them are the fuses. Uh, what happens is uh, lightning. Mm -hmm. You get lightning strikes and it blows the fuses ahead. That was a pretty much a constant thing after so many lights went out you know i'd get up get the old uh truck out truck out go around and replace all the fuses that sounds like but fun sounds those like light fire. bulbs are, are you know long lasting thousand watt metal halide so yep. they're, they're not they cheap either time. there's a little fuse that's that good to know each one of those bulbs has two two fuses in in those boxes okay they're up on top but you have to get a thing. Boom truck. And, and that was another thing. Instead of running all of the wire, which would be two wires per light, all the way down to the base of the pole, I only had to run two wires, heavy wires up. So the economics of it turned out. That's the reason the fuse boxes are it's all the way at the top. top. <laughs> and we had to, you know, the mode or the method to, to access them. Yep. So it wasn't a big deal. It's and 480 right. volts for the lighting. Four, they're all 480 volt yeah. lights. Yeah. Stick your finger in that. And yeah, don't stick your finger in it. You recommend killing power before putting in a new fuse? I, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. yeah. I will think about that. Uh, well noted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The buildings have been added. Yeah, that's and, new. And uh, a lot of the, the concrete slabs, the deal worked out on those slabs that the racers could reserve their yeah. own pit space and they would pay for putting a concrete I saw that because there's a name on every slab yeah. so they paid to have their slab poured have a slab poured and, uh, so and they, they were able pit. to yeah. you know that was their pit space so. that's a smart way to do it yeah um, were there any stands on this side uh, <clears throat> yes they were all these portable grandstands smaller ones we used to move them back and forth from the drag strip like really? the drag strip, we had the uh, uh, Snowbird National and we had a, a point speed and we had big crowds in. So we'd move the grandstands to the yeah. drag strip and then we'd move them back down here. <laughs> that was, I was just at Snowbird. That's so cool. The uh, property back there was uh, a motocross uh, track. Breath Hour and Rhodes uh, uh, operated a uh, motocross track there really for some time that's pretty interesting yeah. did, did you watch the original video the one of us yeah I, I've, I've watched uh, you know I don't know several of the videos of you uh, looking uh, over the track did it bring the back original some... uh, you know the original looks of thing did it bring back some memories oh yes that's cool yeah. we appreciate yeah. you watching the videos yeah. other than that yeah it's, a, it's an amazing facility. Yeah. Gotta thank you for building this place. Well, yeah. I, I wish you a lot of success and kind of. We're excited. You'll have to. Renovating it and making some fun out of it. You'll place, have to so come yeah. out to one of our events. I would love to. Matter we'll fact, set you I'd up. To, you know, I'd love to, you know, offer, I'll offer, uh, 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 my, you know, to volunteer for whatever well, you might. We'll put you to work. <laughs> we'll give you a VIP spot though. You yeah, can come in and right. what is like a fast lap time out here? Uh, fast lap time will be in the low 12 second range. Oh, what? Wow. All right. That's oh my gosh, I was doing laps in my Corvette trying yeah. to see, you know, yeah. what was quick. I was not going near 12 seconds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is crazy. Get, well, get, 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 get the, get the winged, uh, spreaders out here and they'll show you some speed. Oh my gosh, 12 seconds. What's the, what type of speeds on the straights? Uh, on the straightaway, uh, oh, they're you know pushing 100 miles an hour. That's so straightaway. cool. That is cooking. We got to get some cool cars out here and see them yeah, yeah, yeah. tear it up. We need to see some 12 second lap time. Let's check this stuff out. Oh, this looks like some OG stuff. Pop right. that up. Oh. Ooh, drag strip. Crispy. Oh, look, there's. Yeah, oh, okay, the we got the plan. full. Okay, so drag strip right here. Pencil drawn. <laughs> You want to hear something crazy? What? This is what I went to school for. Yeah? I'm doing this stuff. So you know. You I, know could, I could pencil draw all this. 
And so I want to go to the next page. Whoa, whoa. Dang. Dang. Section A, that looks like it, that's like what the... Oh my gosh. The evidence and inches on how they poured the concrete and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Section G. They all got signed off. Oh no, look, you see he was saying the original plans didn't go oh, yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Then they added the like burnout yeah. road too. The slope. Oh. oh. That's pretty cool. So that's the straights. That's the banks. Six inch base, two inch asphalt surface, which is now probably four inches. And then gonna figure out the, I mean, this is like if you took and cut this. Yeah. This is that. This is this view. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Look, photo lab. <laughs> wow, dude. Well, it's real big, like when you come to a big race, like yeah. people sell you a photo of your car. You know, well, they so had to they develop had, them. They had to get yeah, them. they had to develop them. That's so crazy. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to grab your new certified redneck engineer t-shirt and Freedom Factory hat. Cleesmanfound.com. But for now, thanks for watching Do For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.